Hi Kindergarten, today we're going to do Module 3, Lesson 13. Make sure you have your problem set ready. Here we go. Hello my friends, my name is Mrs. Chundershaker. And today we will be having so much fun because today we will be comparing volume. Let's get started. The materials you will need for today's lesson are two cups of small dry objects such as block toys, cereal, pasta, rice, or beans, clear containers such as a bowl, cup, jar, mug, a spoon, and the capacity reporting template. Pause the video to find your materials and press play once you found them. Look at what we have here. We have a measuring cup full of dried lentils and a cup. Watch as I pour the dried lentils into the cup. When the cup is full, I want you to say out loud, it's full, so I know when to stop pouring. Ready? heard some of you say, it's full, to tell me when to stop pouring. Hmm, now how did we know that the cup is full? Think, think, think. How do we know that the cup is full? Tell someone in the room how you knew, or tell me. I heard a friend say that they saw me touch the top of the cup and saw me touch the lentils. So they knew that since I touched it, it was full. I heard somebody else say that they saw the lentils go all the way to the top of the cup. So they knew that it was full. And I heard somebody else say that they knew it was full because if there were any more lentils, it would fall out of the cup. Great job, my friends. Those are all ways that we can tell that the cup of lentils is full. This cup holds a lot of lentils. One math word for how much something holds is capacity. Let's say that word all together. Ready? I want to hear you. Say it. Capacity. Great job. I wonder if the capacity of this container is more than or less than the capacity of this cup. Hmm. Do you think it will hold more or less? When I snap, tell me what you think. I heard most of you say less. Let's say that in a sentence. I think the capacity of this container is less than the capacity of the little cup. Let's say it all together. Ready? Go. I think the capacity of this container is less than the capacity of my cup. Let's test your guess. Ready? See what happens. Oh my goodness! What happened? 
vessels spilling out of the cup. Think to yourself, why are lentils spilling out of the cup? Tell your partner why you think so. I listened in on a lot of your conversations, and I heard some of you say that there's too many lentils for such a small cup. And somebody else said there wasn't enough room in the cup. That's true. There wasn't enough room in the cup because the capacity of the little cup is less than the capacity of the first cup. Now let's compare the capacity of my little cup to this container. Do you think the capacity of this container is more than or less than the capacity of my little cup? When I snap, tell me what you think. I heard most of you say more. Let's say it in a sentence. I think the capacity of the container is more than the capacity of the cup. Let's say it all together. Ready? Go. I think the capacity of this container is more than the capacity of the cup. Let's test your guess. I pick up my cup. I'll pour it in the container. What happened? What happened when I poured the lentils from my small cup into the container? Tell your partner what happened. I listened in on some of your conversations and I heard one of my friends say that there is a lot of room left. I even heard someone else say that we could put more lentils in. Because we could put more lentils in, we know that the capacity of the container is more than the capacity of the little cup. Guess what, friends? Now it's time for you to test the capacity of your own containers. Pause the video and gather your materials of clear containers, small dry objects, a spoon, and the capacity recording template. All right, kindergarten. Now it's your job to do this work on your own. So whatever dry object you have, and on this worksheet, it talks about rice, but it could be anything you want to use. You could use cereal, you could use lentils, like in this video, you could use dried beans, whatever works for you. But you're going to compare the capacity of different containers. Here, you're going to write whatever container had the biggest capacity, and down here, you're going to write whatever container had the smallest capacity. I'm excited to see what you all use. Make sure you bring this sheet and whatever information you learn to Mr. Malcolm for math class. See you later.